All right, well, yeah, tonight we are continuing Zelda. Hey, hey, hey no, thanks for the raid. How's it going? All right. Dungeon time. I'll use my pig army once again. Guys, okay, good to hear. What were you up to today? I don't think my pigs. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you for gifting that sub. Is it Twitch yet? Mostly just chatting. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of. Pretty lazy day. Wait, what are these blocks? <laughs> Stop. Ah, oh, these fish. Like, can't I just have normal bombs? That's fine. Okay, I know how it wants me to do this. I'm gonna try for it. Damn it, it sent me the wrong way. I was reading today that, um, supposedly this game was, it started off with Nintendo experimenting with the idea of a, a Zelda maker, which is what they did with Breath of the Wild. So it's like, this is the second, if true, it's the second time they've attempted to make a Zelda maker and then kind of ditched the idea. Yeah, I don't know how true it is, but... Kinda makes sense. Given the nature of the dungeons are not exactly as linear as uh, before. Something I gotta try later as well, apparently. If you have a Zelda amiibo, or, well, any of the Legend of Zelda amiibos, they give you a costume. So I do have one or two. Because of uh, Breath of the Wild. We'll see what happens. Oh, oh, that was stupid. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing here? Oh, I see. Hurry up! <laughs> not you, not you, not you! Oh, the targeting in this game, I swear. Okay. Good. Well done. Dude! <laughs> Why do you do this? I was holding right on my analog stick and it targets the enemy like that's an eternity away. Instead of the thing right next to me that I'm desperately trying to grab. 
Oh my god. It wasn't even what I was looking for. Oh, I see it. It's over there. Let me just get rid of these things. Why is it not working? Okay. Whatever. Where's that platform? Wait, but that's... Oh, okay. Pigs, go. looking for this amiibo thing. I had them on my desk somewhere, but I can't find them. Okay, I mean, I think this should be one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's... I mean... This is the one I got. Kind of appropriate, given the red tunic is the one that you get in the Goron area, typically. Oh, but this is... This is not what I'm supposed to do yet.
Ah, oh, how did I? That was dumb. Uh, am I in danger? Oh, I'm in danger. Can I just... Okay. So it better be a key. Okay, good. I was not going to be happy if it was money. Or a smoothie ingredient. What did you mean? Hang on. I got this. Come on. Aha! Try the other one. Ooh. Very fancy. wonder if I can just do this. <laughs> okay. Um, it would appear that, um, he had is just invaluable here, again. Yeah, good, good, good work. Wait, bomb choose? How do you do that? That wasn't in the tutorial at the start. It's going to get crazy if the P-Hat gets reduced to just one. I mean, this is already really strong.
Is this an echo or is this a powerful the link mode? Nah. I guess. I doubt there's anything else in that room. Tower is not working. Um, there we go. I know what it wants me to do, but I just... I want to just use all the powers where possible. go to the the right first. I am glad dungeons are back. Okay, so there's treasure chest buried here somewhere. That is worth it. I should be able to upgrade. Oh. All right. Fire versus lightning, go.
this is gonna be worthwhile just for the fire one. easy to hold a fish. It doesn't jump around. Um, and then... Hang on, how do, you, how do we do this? It's like... There's a way to do this. What am I doing? <laughs> There's obviously a way to get up here. Alright, I'll buy it. What is this? I'm hoping after this dungeon I'll be able to summon two of these, that would be cool. These ones are pretty good. But once they actually throw the javelin. Yeah, they're pretty strong. Oh, this is just the way back up. So this dungeon... Uh-oh. I was gonna say it wasn't as long as I thought it would be. Yeah. Rock out of the way, please. Thank you. Ooh. 
Whoops. <laughs> I don't know how I... Hey! How's that hitting me? It just shot me straight into it. But why? You, 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 you betrayed me. I was betrayed. Oh, cool, I got to rest beforehand. Hi, Zelda. Uh, good luck. Thank you. I'm doing okay. Just chilling. Where am I? Oh! Really? This boss? Man, it's really going heavy with the Ocarina of Time stuff. Alright. Cool. Come on, pigs, you got this. I am the pig mansa. Okay, this is the play. The pigs will shoot. And I will distract. Over here. <laughs> yes! Go, pigs! Oops! Fine, I'll, I'll take the hit. One thing I have not used once. Wait, this actually reduces a heart? No, it increases. Okay. I will have the... Technically a smoothie. <laughs> this is so good. Okay, 
Kommer vi her. Fireproof. That's probably useful. Oh no. That's it. Get him. Okay, over here. No, wait, over here. for a floor off. Man, they just... The problem with some of these... They take forever to start attacking. I just went purely with pigs. I think I just did. There's still a bit to explore in this area, though. I haven't really done much with it. That means I can summon two of the spears now. Well, the tier two spear dudes. Priestess. Your power has freed this land which was swallowed by nothingness. I am the goddess Din, one of the three who created your world. 
You have demonstrated true power, thus I grant my sanction unto you. Yeah, the game's a lot of fun. I'm having fun with it. Priestess, I will tell you of the one who has torn this land asunder with the rifts. Before the creation of the skies and the lands, there was a void, a vast nothingness. Oh. In the void, some things would begin taking form, only to be devoured by the one who dwelt there. The name of this one is Null. What? This is new. Null desired the world in its entirety and consumed all life indiscriminately. We three goddesses could not abide this and created the skies and the lands to contain Null. All the while, Null continued creating rifts working ceaselessly to return the world to a void. And so he brought forth the tries to dissipate the rifts, thus keeping the balance. One sanction remains. Remember this, your power will one day be your salvation. Huh. Interesting. No, our enemy has a name now. This is the one who has been making all the rifts. And the goddess has created my friends and me in order to oppose Null. Hmm. There's not really anything else to do in- yeah, yeah, okay. So this is going back further than Skyward Sword, because that's, I guess, from a story perspective, the first game. It's telling a time before even that. Zelda, you're incredible. The giant rift. It's gone. Ah. Hopefully everyone is back now too. Let's go see. <laughs> I like these Goron models. They're cool. Wow, that's the first time I've been the guy tossed in the air. I'm so glad everyone's back. Zelda, try. Before I met you, I actually regretted becoming chief. It felt like a mistake. I don't think I, it was. I'm just finding my own way of doing things. I know you'll have to go mend some more rifts soon, but I'm going to keep leading my people here. Thank you so much for all your help. Oh. Dustin, come over here, will ya? <laughs> Sounds like I'm needed. Coming. Come back to Goron City whenever you like. You're always welcome here. Dawson's changed a lot from when we met him. He had so much trouble deciding things before. Now he's confident and his friends are smiling. I guess he's happy to be relied on. I'm glad we mended the Elden Volcano Rift and we received a sanction from the Goddess Din. This just leaves the Holy Mount Lanera Rift. Only one left. Okay, before we do... There's probably a lot to find here. Oh, I already got it. Um, but there's also a sub-rift. 
I don't think I can get this marker. Uh oh. No, it's fine. It's gone now. Uh, I'm guessing the entry will probably be here. Yep, there it is. So, can I have two of them now? No. Yeah, I can. Yeah! <laughs> awesome. Okay. That is really useful, because... With one of them, I mean, it works well, but... When there's multiple, it's so much easier for them to hit. Oh, you, you wanna... You wanna mess with javelins? Alright, let's go. on YouTube. Thanks for popping in. Oh, guys. I wonder if I can cheese my way here. <laughs> okay, not like that. The it, it is it is pretty funny. That's not what I was trying to do. Check this out. Damn it, hang on. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Now. 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 <laughs> what about the shark? Okay. Bat, other way, other way, other way, other way, other way. What? Is it doing? I try to be complicated. We We It's probably not gonna level me up.
All right. Don't think I've been over there. The other area that I'm surprised there's nothing... Well, maybe there is something and I just haven't gone there, but... Where the Eastern Palace is in A Link to the Past. Wait. Okay. Maybe I should go for a nice long run to warm up. Okay. You should try the Goron race. Oh, no. Not this. Uh, okay. This is anything like the ones... I don't know if it was in Majora's or... Ocarina. Do I have to strictly follow the path? We will do it the honorable way first. I've already lost. <laughs> At least it's not charging me. I did it wrong. <laughs> when in doubt. Not that way. <laughs> Damn it. Oh my god, analog stick, please. Ah, oh, I did it right. I've already lost, I think. Yeah. Just do that again. Yeah, yeah. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> Am I gonna be called a cheater? Oh, I lost. Racing was my one way to stand out in the crowd. And this track is where I practiced the most, dang it. The world's so big, I guess there's always going to be someone better out there. But I lost fair and square. Ah, oh, it's just money. Okay. Unless there's a follow-up to this. A harder track. My brother said he'd do the glider ride with me, but now he won't play at all. So I'm going to master the glider ride on my own. That'll show him. But it's hard. I want to find someone to show me how. Okay. Oh, what the... Yeah. 
Then I'll do it. <laughs> it just didn't let me. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. Wow, you are great. You glided smooth and strong, just like my brother does. Let me give you my snack as a thank you. Ow. Wait. I told my brother Dissian about you. He wants to meet you. Wait, right here. Right here. Let me go get him. Oh, so you're the one Seko told me about. I'm his older brother, Dissian. Thanks for demonstrating for him earlier. He was telling me how he met a Hylian gal who was practically a pro at gliding. I've been a glider riding about three years myself. Think you can glide better than me? I spent a whole year making my own course. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love their faces. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yes. Went too far. Wait, what do you mean I didn't make it? <laughs> what? What happened? What? Wha? I'm so confused. What happened? I didn't touch the ground. Or did I touch the ladder by accident? Yeah, uh, that might have been it. Okay, I mean, I never expected such a talent to just show up on the scene. The world moves fast. Always gotta move a little faster. But I'll give you this. Okay. That's more worthwhile. If you're a thrill seeker, you'll... Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Quite a few of these are just going to be crystals, but that's fine. Hey, what? Gravity. 
Oh, it just loses stamina eventually. Hang on, go back. The only other area I haven't been is that top right corner. Do they have a store or something in here? Let me see. There's usually, like, a unique trinket thingy. Oh. Nah, it's cooking. Okay. I never get tired of that. Oh, wait, this is nothing? Get him, my pigs. <laughs> Guys, come on. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why did I say so dumb? There we go. Huh. Other than that chest, there doesn't appear to be anything else here. Alright. Um, I am going... Oh, there's like a whole area here too. Okay, before that... Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
How much for the next one? A thousand, okay. Did I? Hmm. I don't think I checked out the store in Farron either. Friendly warning. I'm a friendly scrub, so I'll give you a friendly warning. Stay away from Buzzu. All they do is whine. They're so annoying. They're the most annoying scrub in the world. I can hear you, numb scrub. Benpu's the one you should stay away from. They're bitter and nasty, and they enjoy hurting my feelings. Oh yeah? Well, I'll cut it out if you beat me at hide and seek. Uh, you know I'm bad at hide and seek. Ah, tell you what, if you're that worried about it, I'll let you team up with someone else. Baby. Then you, I want you on my team. Alright. You'll find me near the trendiest shop in town. Good stuff. You found me? Um, that was a warm-up round. Let's go again. How about you stop giving me hints and then you might win? <laughs> Not that. Oh, that one I don't have. Found me again. Guess you're a student of the game. I'd better crank up the difficulty. Close your eyes. All right. Four stone siblings. There's no close one. I guess this is the closest one. Left me no choice, I'll have to pull out all the stops. Close your eyes, yeah, 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 yeah.
Oh. The sick of it now? Oh, you found me. That's not fair. You should have said you were a pro hide and seeker. I can't compete with someone who does this for a living. You saw a loser. Just admit you lost and quit teasing me like you promised. But I, I... I tease you because I'm jealous, Buzzu. What? You're so good at making stuff, cotton candy and smoothie, so I get jealous. And when I was better than you at hide and seek, I guess I let it go to my head. I'm sorry. So that's what it was about? You could have asked me to teach you how to make stuff. Instead, you hurt my feelings all the time. You call me annoying, Bempu. But you're the annoying one. Me? Well, thanks for helping me win. Here you go. Oh. Fairy fragrance. Wear this cologne made of fairy flowers to make fairies appear a bit more often. Okay. Am I annoying? Am I too harsh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it was okay to make a little fun. As friends, you know. But I guess teasing is pretty annoying. I'm glad you get it. Now, do you want to go home? I did just get another slot, so... Um... Probably useful. But that's not what I came here for. I <laughs> got sidetracked. Do they have a store? I guess I didn't visit that prison area. Someday I'm going to travel the world, make it so everyone knows my name. I'll be the deco scrub all others wish they could be. Now oh, it's but it's you that I'm talking to. I was hiding from the leaf eaters. If they eat all my leaves, I'll go pale and I'll wilt. And then I'll be dead. Ah, stop saying stuff like that. Sorry. Look, if you go into the jungle, watch out for a swarm of moth eaters. We ran into them in southeast Farron wetlands. Those moth eaters, they attacked us and munched on our leaves. We got off with a few bite marks, but next time they'll eat our leaves whole. Ugh, now I'm gonna have nightmares about moth eaters. I feel like I've beaten those things, though. This is the clink, the who's gal. You know, the small room with bars for bad people. Hang on, you're the one we put in here. You came back? We heard you saved a bunch of Deku scrubs, so you're free to pass. Only thing is, the guards inside won't let you in, so keep your wits. Oh. How about you, you guys communicate, you know? What kind of prison are you running? The front doesn't know what the back is doing. I need to make it stop raining. Where are those frogs? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh oh. <laughs> I 
may have gone overboard with the fire. Just for apples. There's somewhere... It's at... Wait. Oh, southeast, not southwest. So it's like... Yeah. I've probably already run into them. gonna take forever to fight it. I was like, wait, haven't I been here? It's the same thing, but just different location. I don't know, I haven't seen them yet. wakes them up. run into them before, but I don't remember where. Because I have the echo for it, so I've definitely run into them. Oh wow, kill cool them. I'm just back here. <laughs> Southeastern part of the Farron Wetlands. Huh. Oh, it's over there. Okay.
Ups. Why? There we go. Here they are. Okay. All right, pig army, go. Get it! It's stunned! Get it! Wait, where am I? Okay, there we go. I guess I should say my goodbyes. My only regret is not drinking more smoothies. Give it a rest. You're bumming me out. You're right on time. Soon we're going to the big vegetable patch in the sky. You de defeated the moth dealers. So our leaves aren't going to get snatched. Which means we're going to live. Hooray, life goes on. I'm going to drink smoothies by the bucket. You've been a good friend to the Deku Scrubs. Have this. Thanks for saving us. Does not look like they have a, uh, a store. Other than this one. Okay, then... Yeah, I'm going here. Because I sort of skipped over this initially. Is there even anything here? Probably just gonna be ingredients. Yep. Yeah, I don't know, man. The, the chests are very anticlimactic in this game, but it's not a problem that's only in this game. It was a problem in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. I think anywhere where it's. it tries to be a little non linear or completely non linear, it's. the treasure chests are usually very anticlimactic. I kind of miss when opening them sometimes would mean, like, a heart piece. No, you scared me. Sorry. Braid nerves. The name's Sago. I'm an archaeologist. Is there any particular reason you're here? I hope it's not to go inside. There's a monster in there. The other day I went inside and I heard this creepy voice. 
Let's play a game, shall we? Oh yeah, that's exactly what it sounded like. Yipes. Okay, I'm opting out. It might sound friendly, but that's the voice of a monster. I'm not studying the temple while there are monsters about. Interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. This is going to be a puzzle using rocks. Interesting. I mean, that, that'll work either way. Huh, okay. Very cool. How do I make it change direction? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, what? Ugh. Now it's back to going the other way around. Okay, I see. Kind of. I have to blockade it off. Stop. How do I get it? That didn't help either. Come on, man. <laughs> I want to go up. Uh-oh. Good. 
No, that's great. It needs to go the other way. I guess, hang on. What the... Huh? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> it... Huh? Am I just not getting this? Okay, that's in the right spot. Now I gotta make sure that this somehow works. Wow, not to have why. I don't understand. <laughs> okay, don't you dare. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Um. Okay. will work. That'll work. That'll work. <laughs> and I, I definitely made that harder, harder than it needed to be. For sure. Oh, this doesn't even have a dungeon map. Interesting. I'm going to thank the high jump for that. Chest. Hang on. Probably not worth it. This is probably a case where I should have come here sooner. Oh! I forgot the name of this boss, but this is from Ar the Oracle games. Wow. I never expected to see this. It's rare that they kind of do anything with the Oracle games. I wonder if it's the same. Get him, pigs. I suppose you won that round. Forgive me if I get a little broken up. Ah. Uh, okay. We're doing this now. Yeah. <laughs> 
get them my pigs. You are only being stunned. You've got this. Wait, I can just grab the cloud? Oh, no. It doesn't let you cheese it. That'd be too easy. Stupid analog stick. I was trying to face the left and it kept forcing me to go to the right. It's okay, Nintendo controllers don't drift. That just makes him change direction, which I guess is useful. As long as I got it off that track. There we go. Wait a minute. I got a better idea. I was gonna say it. <laughs> God, fine. Seems like I need more practice. Next time we meet, I will emerge the victor. Oh. Huh. Oh. Yeah, this was worth it. Huh, I wonder if some of the other spots that used to be dungeons in A Link to the Past have the same thing going on. There's still more to get, so I'm not leaving. There was a passage I didn't go through. Hang on. Oh. Oh, what? I can actually get them as an echo?
That's cool. That'll come in handy for stunning enemies. I bet there were some other enemies that I thought couldn't die that I could get echoes of. See, now I have this power. See what I need to do. That should be enough to just get it now. I mean, it's fine. Is that everything? Guess so. I saw something come out of the temple. It looked like a cloud. You're telling me the cloud was a monster and you defeated it? Incredible, I'm going to write about all this and you in my next paper. But it might take a while to get published, so here's this in the meantime. An ancient charm. This enchanted object from long ago reduces the damage- Ah, oh, man, the, these are the armor upgrades. It's an artifact I found in Farron Wetlands, be careful with it. Okay. I was wondering if, like, at any point I would get damage reduction. Um... I mean, yeah. Okay, cool. Now I'm curious. If any of the, uh, other old spots have something similar going on. <laughs> I gotta check the bridges as well. I just realized that this is... Uh, I've effectively got a lightning rod now with this. Really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, this is new as well. Well, I just haven't been here. <laughs> what do they do? I'm gonna be disappointed if there's no cave here. There's no cave here. Uh, but I should check. We'll see if the spot actually exists on this map, but... I'm just going to the places where there were dungeons in the Link to the Past game. bearings. It should be here. Okay. The map's not a one-to-one, -one, but has enough similarities that I can find my way around. So, I mean, this was a palace. I wonder if there's an underground passage or something. Hmm, okay. Well, nothing here. The only other place to check is, like, the guru uh, here. I'm going to check all of them, just in case. It's cool that this is here. I see, they're all broken down, so it doesn't look like there's a way in. Unless maybe in here. No, okay. And this is where it's different, like Kakariko leads to a volcano instead of a forest. I'm guessing this would be the forest then. I forgot what their accessory was. Oh, it's not even here anymore. Huh. Maybe I'm, com I'm confusing it with the other village. Doing the Lost Woods thing. Okay, never mind. Can't go there. Yep. Alright, then I guess onwards to Lanero. Thank <laughs> you. 
it's called the eternal forest here. The one thing I'll say about this game that bothers me a little, I know it's probably not noticeable to a lot of people, but sometimes the frame rate is like clearly 60. And then sometimes it's, like, dipping to 30 and lower. Uh, it's just... I don't know. I think I'd like it more if it was just 30 and n not trying to be 60 when it clearly can't handle it. Yep. There are parts where it, the game looks really smooth and great, and then there are areas where it clearly can't keep up, which is weird because... Tears of the Kingdom is, like, such a way more detailed game, but that one runs better in some ways. I don't know. It just shows that they need to stop announcing alarm clocks. <laughs> and announce the new console already. Oh, who are you? This is new. This is not working. Okay, what we're gonna do... Oh crap, I can have three of them. Holy crap. I just realized I can have three of these now. This is actually kind of cool. <laughs> oh my god. How much is that one worth? Five. Yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I think having three P-Hats is, is pretty stupid and broken. One of them was already carrying me pretty hard. Text is impossible to make out. It's not a torch. Okay, I don't know then. I imagine I'm here too early, like this is something that I just have to come to later. It's usually the case. Is that Dumpy? Dumpy! Yeah. That key you got is real important to me. Now be a good little birdie and fork it over. Huh? Yeah. You hear me, little crow? I promise I won't be mad if you give it back. Now. Mwah. Why, you little? <laughs> I know you can hear me. You ignoring me, the great Dumpy? The most genius inventor in all Hyrule? Stop being a pest and give me the key. It's all for nothing if I don't get my key back. He's an engineer in this one, not not a gravekeeper. <laughs> Thank you for defeating that wily crow and getting me my key. I was so busy being angry with that crow that I forgot about introductions. I'm Dompe. The most genius inventor in all of Hyrule. I've spent decades refining my skills in automaton crafting, and now I'm the best engineer out there. Well, I suppose being the only automaton engineer also makes me the best. Blah. Anyway, you seem pretty tough. Got much experience defeating monsters? Hmm. Maybe this little lady is the one to really make the most of my inventions. 
But that settles it then. Swing on by my house later. I'll give you a little treat for helping me out. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so I'll mark it on your map. My house is real funky. You can't miss it. Well, I'm heading that way now. See ya. Oh. I was expecting it to be like the, um... Where the lumberjack house was. I guess I haven't been up there either. Probably haven't gone here. Damn it. Okay, well... I think the way to do it. I haven't actually solved how to do this once, but I know you got to take control of an enemy. What happens if I place a bed? The bed gets put down. The other way I know is crates. Oh, this is too strong of a current. Even crates don't work. Where's the ghost? Go through. being for real? Hold on. Go forward. Hang on. How did I... Hold it. Hold. Go. What? <laughs> I think this is wrong. There's got to be something that can swim. What about you? No. Like, even the mighty Lazalfos cannot swim. There's got to be a simple solution to this. Oh. 
I think I just found it. Sort of. Hang on. Wait. I gotta put this under me. Okay. Now. Okay. Oh, it worked. <laughs> Not really worth it, given the struggle. But I guess I learned something. I got another way to overcome those, uh... Current problems. You're here, I've been waiting for you. Welcome to my top secret workout, Dampe's studio. All right, before I forget, here's your reward. Twisted pumpkins. Yeah. Now at, a, at a certain point, I kind of stopped making smoothies. Uh, guessing you don't know the joy of automatons. Well, all righty, allow me to introduce you to the dazzling world of my clockwork beauties. Here we go! Automatons are works of pure art inspired by monsters. I pour my soul into each and every one. My art automatons <laughs> are so flashy, they'll even fight for you. Just deploy with care. I'm sure you'll be great with them. Pretty sure, anyway. Enough of my yammering, it's time to get hammering. Well, I'd like to anyway, but I've been struggling. You see, I'm an artistic rut. Or in an artistic rut. So off I go to take a walk and clear my head, and I get accosted by a crow. Can you believe it? At any rate, it got me thinking about making a real zinger. Something that can shoot up into the sky. So it led me to the concept, but I need more than just one idea for my creative pursuits. I need inspiration. Okay. Let's see. I think about a creature with a big eye, sort of always jumping around. Oh. Shoots hot smoke out of its backside to blast forward. Okay. Um. Blast out of its eye. Not this. Oh wow, would you look at that? Hmm, let me get a gander. That's it, it matches my concept perfectly. Thanks for finding it for me. Only thing is, there's one more step to sort it out. We're so close to a real zingy automaton. The other one was like, blast... fire? To propel forward? Yep. Not that. This is where this UI is like, man. <laughs> I think they should have used a grid instead of this horizontal scrolling thing, like... In this circumstance, this is really, 
really not cool to use. I got the feeling I should have found them earlier. Mofula? Oh, it is. There you go. Fill it in my bones. I'm burning with inspiration. Hey, Laura, how's it going? I'll keep the huge eyeball, then top it off with a glitzy metallic body. If this a job, I'll add custom rockets to make it launch in a real showy way. And that's what I call a snazzy automaton. I dub it the tech type. It's a flashy automaton that can launch high into the sky with a huge jump. Better yet, when it jumps, it blasts away any nearby monsters. Okay. Clockwork key. Use it to wind them up. It's a precious one of a kind, so don't go losing it. These unusual creations are made by automaton engineer Dampe. If one of them breaks, uh, they break. Can't we just have cool stuff without a durability system? I'm good. <laughs> I'm probably not going to use this. And that's the first and last time we see Dumpe. Uh, good, how am I? I'm, I'm doing alright. Just doing more of this. All my responsible adult stuff is done. I was playing Diablo on my handheld earlier, trying to get stuff for my paladin, and... I found stuff for an Amazonian, to the point where it's like, hmm, I could go play Amazon again and get further than what I get with paladin right now. The game is baiting me into playing it again. You, I'm, I'm not kidding, like, you're gonna hate me, but I got both um, Titans and Thunderstroke, or whatever the other one is, within maybe 20 minutes of one another. Yep. And then I also got that helm that basically the Boazon wants. I've, I've done that already. Never got it, gave up trying. I mean... The way that I usually get it is through Pindle. Then I can play it whilst I do stuff. Get back into it every now and then. Eventually, I, I want it so like I've built every class at least once to its full potential. All right, where are we going? Up here. I'd be more interested in the Dompei thing if it didn't have a durability system. Greetings, Princess Zelda. By the King's orders, I'm looking into the rift on Holy Mount Lanieru. Minister Left told me of an old legend that you can reach it by crossing the clouds. I tried scaling Hebra Mountain to cross over, but the cliffs were too steep. There is a mountain passage ahead, but it's rough going. It clearly hasn't been maintained. Who are you? Oh, it's just generic. Yes. Every mountain covers an area that's very cold. You'll get hurt if you can't ward off the chill. But if you do want to go up there, use the caves to climb that summit. Oh, am I going to require... Okay. Rhetoric. Rhetorical question. 
I think I know what I'm gonna need for it eventually. Here we go. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I was being lazy. I could have had that if I put it closer to the edge. There we go. Hold on. Bats are going to destroy it. What are they trying to attack? <laughs> that was silly. Hang on. Oh, they're stopped now. Can't grab the rock. Okay, I was just being annoying, like trying to grab the bat. I wonder if I can just climb this without. Ah, <laughs> oh, come on, one shot. Um, hang on. I got this. Drag it down. And then do this. Hang on. Drag it down. We need to get the leash to be shorter. So close. <laughs> so close. I'm being so lazy here. Thank <laughs> you. 
So finally it will let me... Yeah. Alright, I'll stop being lazy. I could have done this already. Okay, we're here. Oh, there's a new. Looks like rifts have spread through this whole mountain too. All we can do now is push forward. Okay, I was worried that it was going to be the whole thing where you need food to warm you up. No more echo. Okay. to just eh. except for the time he gave me a bottle mm. oh it says the final stamp card okay Ooh. okay maybe you're shivering are you going to be okay it's windy up here much stronger than before you'll freeze can you bring something to keep you warm I think I did make one already. There we go. I have one minute. What's that strange sound? What is that? Um, what about... Wake up! Okay, <laughs> they don't wake him up. Well, I mean, the quest marker's here. Crap, I don't have much time. Oh, this keeps you warm. Uh, 
Uh, no, no, please don't leave Conde here. Conde? Mm. What? what? Mm. Conde was only sleeping. Is, th is this the return of the Anuki? Oh, who are you? Did you wake up Conde? Thanks, small one. You too, much smaller one. Oh, you can see me? Of course Conde can see you. But small ones, aren't you cold dressed like that? Conde has an idea. Why don't you stay at my house until the snow blows over? Oh, oh yes, that is one of Conde's best ideas ever. Let's go together. Please follow closely so you don't get lost in the storm. Uh oh. Hey, hold on. <laughs> I'm bringing this with me. This will keep me warm. It'll also defend me. Ah, oh, you! The bridge is broken, but we need to cross to get to Kande's house. Kande can still get us there fast. Sure. Alright then. Climb on my back some more. Oh, you know what? It might be the Yetis from um, Twilight Princess. There's a lot of creatures that haven't appeared in a while that they're putting in this game. Hey! So here we are at Conde's house. It's warm and toasty inside. Oh. Welcome to Conde's house, small one, and much smaller one. You won't freeze in here, given that it's roasty toasty and all. We do have names, you know. We're more than just smaller and small and smaller. <laughs> I'm Tri, this is Zelda. Ooh. Zelda and Tri, Conde, can't remember that. So Zelda and Tri, you're welcome to rest here until it stops snowing. Oh, since we're saying names, Conde should say his. Conde's name is Conde. And nice to have guests, it's been, well, a long, long time. What did you two come up here into the mountains for anyway? Fixing rifts, three goddesses. Kande doesn't quite understand, but it sounds hard. We're trying to reach a different mountain, Holy Mount Laneru. Do you know how to get there, Kande? Laneru. Laneru. Oh, Kande does know that name. Big Brother told me about it. Your big brother? He's a great explorer. His adventures take him all over the place, in a hot air balloon. Big Brother said his ne next great destination was Holy Mount Laneru. He said he was going to launch a flight from the top of Hebra Mountain to get there. Conde oh. waited here, along with Dad, until Big Brother returned from his adventure. Zelda and Tri, hopefully your adventures are going well. Oh. The snow is coming down hard, but it'll ease up soon. You two are welcome to relax here. Conde's home is your home. We can wait here for a while, Zelda. What a relief. Conde reminds me of the Anukis. <laughs> I mean, maybe that's them. Their village was great. Conde made that picture. Big Brother taught Conde many things, like how to crush rocks, to make paint. He's part of my family, close to Conde's heart. Just a little earlier, Kande saw Big Brother. He was walking here on the mountain. Kande saw him from behind and called out, but he vanished into the storm. Kande chased after Big Brother, but couldn't find him anywhere until finally. Kande fell asleep in the snow after all that running. Maybe Big Brother will come home soon. So in this picture, he's the little one.
Ooh. It hasn't stopped snowing hard yet. Rest here a little longer. Do I have to get out my bed? I rested. Maybe the book? Sunday's Daily Diary. Today was sunny. My snow patrol was the same as yesterday. Today was very snowy. <laughs> I thought it goes on like that for a while. Okay. I was like, wait, I read that. Those are my cleaning tools. Conde uses them to clean this mountain. Dad used to used to clean with Conde. Some of those are actually his tools. Ooh. Oh. It's not snowing so hard now. The time has flown by much faster than when Conde is alone. Anyway, now that it's safe to go outside, Conde is going out there to clean. Wait, Zelda and Tri wanted to go to Holy Mount Lunaria, right? Head to the top of the mountain. That's where Big Brother launched his balloon. But is is the cold still going to be a thing? Ooh. Dad, Conde promises to do his best to give the mountain a good cleaning today. Ooh. Okay, here goes. It seems like cleaning means something else to him, like removing snow. I sense my friends are somewhere inside there, Zelda. It doesn't look like snow. Oh, nope, never mind. Oh, there we go. at the ice areas. I can learn ice block. Why would I use this over a normal block? Wait, what? What happened there? Kande has got to clean up this mess and before Big Brother gets home. It's not working, though. Still, Kande won't give up, no matter what. Oh. Huh, what's wrong? Kande is cleaning up this dark gunk, trying and trying anyway. Gunk, do you mean that rift? The gunk has been messing up things all over the, mount the mountain lately. Kande has to clean this up before Big Brother gets home. Can't get rid of a rift that way. 
Really? But Conde is pretty sure this will work. Just need to try harder. Um, but... Thank you for wanting to help. It makes Conde happy. But this is something that Conde needs to do. Okay. Time to clean. Somehow. Poor Conde. He's not going to listen to us, is he? Oh, but we can't go in from here. Apparently had to be here yeah, specifically. I get the feeling one of them's gonna be trapped in these icicles. I don't know why I'm bothering. I have a clear solution to this. Damn it. <laughs> Would've worked. <laughs> Depth perception sometimes is very difficult. There we go. Thank yeah, thanks for that. Do that. Okay, so it's not cold enough for water to freeze into ice. That didn't shatter it. Okay, well, I have to do this, then this. Okay. 
not quite enough to level up again. Konde is like, ah, oh, I did it. Oh wow, the dark gunk is gone. Konde was right to keep trying. Okay. I wonder where we can into the huge one. Probably further up. I sense my friends. Was there anything else to do here? There was a right side passage. Okay, but like, can I just... Like, it seems to me... Unless I'm sorely mistaken. <laughs> this is gonna work. Hang on. With the Cheska. Oh no, this is gonna, this is a hundred percent gonna work now. Uh oh, it fell in the pit. Did I brick it? Hang on. Okay, it's back. Trying to be too clever about this. Hang on. I've got the right idea. It's just bad execution. I probably could have done this normally by now, but that's besides the point. I wonder if I can learn this as an echo. Oh, you can. No kidding. Oh, damn, that probably means some of those boulders as well. There's a bunch of stuff that I probably... Could have learnt as an echo and just didn't. This works. I don't think I have that one. This thing is not going to win against the P-Hat Onslaught. Maybe it might. You can take away its shield. That's awesome. Does that level it down, though? Yep. 
They might have leveled it down. Danger here. Imagine that was going to happen. Oh. Whoa. Okay, the water blocks are becoming ice. Stop! <laughs> the knockback is so annoying. Oh boy, brittle blocks. That's what I wanted. <laughs> Unconventional wins. Scared. Get him, pigs. Oh, there's more.
Uh, what are those? Uh oh. Fireworks. Wait, how did how did it freeze one? I'm just gonna keep lighting this one on fire. Be overwhelmed. Hats are so good. Just stun locking. Interesting. <laughs> A lot of the time, you can just throw them into pits and it works. Ah, oh, you little... <laughs> just when I was about to. Come here. You think you're funny. Don't let me jump across. creatively. Okay, never mind. I thought, like, being <laughs> ice would treat me like a rock. Well, there is one way I can fix this. There we go. wanted to get rid of that. There we go. I'm safe. Let me get it. Okay, that worked.
Can't take all of them out. Uh oh. What is this thing? The mower? <laughs> the lawnmower. Uh, hey, dude, how's it going? Oh, man. We were watching, like, a Hell's Kitchen finale, and there was a moment there where I was, like, it really tilted me so hard. But they had a, they had a moment where, like, um... They had the whole cooking contest thing, but this time only e executives were deciding, you know, what dish was right. And of course I made my usual quip about, like, who cares what they think. <laughs> and then... This one guy, this one, like, old dude, old executive dude. His feedback was, and I quote, it tastes like the ocean. That was his feedback for the chef. Referring to a fish, and he meant it in a good way. Why are you running away? Why? Where are you going? No! Hey. I was. I was just. I was done. <laughs> I could not believe that they were asking the opinion of this person. It's been a good couple of days. I've gotten free food twice. More free food, yeah. <laughs> so I, it started with, um, I got a letter from my, uh, the company that does the water supply in Melbourne, or at least this part of Melbourne, and they were saying I hadn't paid my water bill in basically a year, and I'm like, oh, that's weird. I remember getting a water bill once, but I don't think I ever got another one. But, you know, because it comes so infrequently, like, it's once every three months, supposedly. It just completely slipped my mind, so I was like, shit, how much am I going to have to pay them back? And then, you know, they tell me, oh, there was an error in their system, and they're just waiving the fees I would have had to have paid in, in its entirety. So basically, I got free water for a year. And then my ISP decided to announce, you know, their new internet connections. So I just upgraded my internet connection with the money I would have spent on my water bill. So I was happy about that. I decided to order a pizza from my usual place. I changed my order for once, and they send me my usual, and I'm like, hey, um, you know, it, this is not what I wanted. And then the dude's like, oh yeah, just take it, it's fine. Don't worry, don't worry about paying for it. I'm like, did you sure? I'm like, I, I can eat it, it's fine. And it's like, nah, nah, we, we messed up, it's, it's okay. <laughs> so I got a free pizza. And then today, um, because they have council elections here that you have to vote for, so I, I've been checking my mailbox periodically for the voter forms. And, um, when I went to check my mailbox, there was a voucher for, like, a free pizza from Domino's. Because apparently I had ordered one at some point and it just didn't arrive in time. Which I don't remember doing, but, you know, hey, another, another free pizza. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, no, my, my luck is, is pretty bullshit sometimes. I don't know what I'm trying to achieve here exactly. Like, I could do this another way and probably get there in a much more efficient manner. But instead, I'm, I'm doing this. Okay, you know what? So the problem is going to destroy any water block here, right? Yeah. I should just use a bat. Oh, it doesn't let me use a bat either. Okay, hang on, I got another way. That'll do. So, yeah, it's been a good couple of days. Got a fancy new internet connection that has ten times more the upload that I had before. So now when I'm just uploading stuff to Twitch and YouTube, it's really quick. I've also been finding, like, more other random movies to watch. Someone recommended um, a Halloween movie to watch that's like both fits the bill of Halloween, but then also is really weird. And um, I mean, I don't know if it's like a movie that's bad, so bad that it's good, but it's one. It's one of those. It's just you watch it because you want to laugh. Conde thought Big Brother had come home and finally caught up with him, but then he knocked poor Conde down. You okay? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Conde can brush off an avalanche. Just surprised, that's all. But you don't seem like your normal self. Conde mm. doesn't feel like his normal self. I understand, Conde. Why would he do that? You've been waiting for him for so long. Mm. Maybe Conde wasn't good like Conde was supposed to be. Good, what do you mean? Mm. On the day he left, Big Brother said, be good, Conde. Sometime after that, Dad became one of the stars in the sky, so Conde has been all alone. Conde has been waiting for Big Brother to come home for a long time. And lately, Conde has been thinking, what if Big Brother never came back home because Conde wasn't good? But Conde has been trying his hardest to be really, really good, thinking Big Brother would come home then. I see, what will you do, go after him? Well, Conde saw Big Brother go north of here. But Conde isn't going to chase after him. Being knocked down once was enough. Conde doesn't know what else Conde can do. Sorry, Zelda and Tri. Conde wants to think here by himself for a while. Is it Troll 2? No. The movie is called Frankenhooker. And as you can imagine, um, it involves hookers. The plot is like this dude loses his wife and he's a scientist that specializes in that sort of crap so he takes body parts of dead hookers <laughs> to reanimate his wife so yeah you know it, it's a, it's certainly a movie it's uh it's adult in nature but you know very normal these must be from conde's brother he must have gone that way I can sense my friends inside this rift. We're getting very close. Yeah, my friends, um, 
saw like the streamer that I watch, I that, uh, he was talking about how he saw it, and then my friend decided to watch the movie as well, and he's told me, "Oh no, you have to see this at some point." Have I seen Troll 2 as well? I don't think I have. Have you seen Mac and Me? <laughs> I mean, there's, there's definitely a list of movies that are in that vein of very bad, but they make you laugh. Oh, we're in the clouds now. Good, well done. Got hilariously bad acting. Oh, I like those kind of movies. Just straight up lay out clouds now. Okay. This is certainly interesting. Oh! No, but you can just keep going. There's. What do you mean? They're just infinite stairs. Like, they don't have a downside. Other than they disappear after a little while, but still. Is it gonna go from- oh no, okay, that can happen too. It's going to go from me putting down beds to me putting down clouds. Oh. I was not expecting that. I'll have to try and find it. Okay. Yep. Ah, you... <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. Okay, whatever. It's it's here now. Everything's fine. It's not even what I'm looking for, it's just, ugh, cooking stuff. This item seems very, very busted. I took a leap of faith, I failed. Can I do this? Oh, you can. That's cool. Come on, you can do it. Hey, but I I want the echo power. Don't do that. Oh stupid pig. Okay, I should stop that. Oh 
Screw it. I'll just grab it like this. Oh my god. That, that was, that was, yeah. No, that's great. I love the part where it basically told me to go fuck myself and just jumped off a cliff. I need to do it from back here, so then I get more height by the time I get there. This cloud item is ridiculous. Could I much have just let me skip? <laughs> and that's if you assume that you can actually make an echo out of it. What's all this? A large picture with lots of writing. Let's see what it says. My balloon trip from Hebra Mountain the way up to Holy Mount Lanero was a great success. As I take a quick break, I'm leaving all of this here as a record of the happy occasion. I'm going on this adventure alone. Dad thinks I'm ready to take over his work this time. My dear little brother Conde is in good hands with Dad back home. He'll be looked after. I'm anxious about going out exploring the world by myself, but adventure calls. I can't wait to bring Conde with me someday. He'll love it. It'll be even more fun. Now onward. More exploration. Conde's brother must have left us here. And I bet this is his brother. So Conde had it wrong. His big brother doesn't think anything bad about him. You know, Conde saved us from that bad storm. I think he really deserves to be happy again. What are those things? I don't know, I think they're either the Anuki from um, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit Tracks, or the Yetis from Twilight Princess. It's one or the other. These are just like the footprints we saw outside the rift. Because there were big the two big yeti couple in Twilight Princess. And then in the DS games, there was the, uh, the snow village that had the creatures that had the horns. Okay. Well, I've reached the next dungeon, so... That is today's stopping point. For this. These dungeons can take a while. <laughs> so, we'll leave it there. Alright, well, if you were checking this out later on as a replay, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed, and if you want to support the channel, just click the like button. Helps a lot. But yeah, thank you for watching.